there's a nice collection of cups and um, also espresso cups to go with the collection. This is one of a little bit of a homage to where I live, which is really my sketch of the skyline of uh, New York City. And then there's a mug here that I actually took a sketch from probably almost 30 years ago from when I was in university, um, where I used to do these abstract forms and I would draw huge pages of just continual forms. So really, as this whole collection is a little bit of a homage to my roots, um, I thought I would use a sketch that's uh, from that period. As well as there's some kind of abstract and more what I call a kind of digipop language, which is, tries to speak about, I think, this kind of time we live in today, the kind of digital era, and in a sense how colorful and playful and, um, and really um, personalized the digital era is. And also I've done a mug here, which is really my symbols that I've created over the last 20 years, really. And it's uh, uh, symbols that I designed as a, as a kind of very personal language. My personal hieroglyphics um, that I started out actually just doing little um, um, symbols. And the symbols originally were just to kind of mark my work. It was really to speak about my project. So I would do an object, let's say, and I put a small symbol on it. It was just a way of signing my work. And uh, in turn, over the years, it became 54 symbols. And they're really, um, uh, over time, I started to tattoo my body with the same symbols. So I've gone to you know, different cities in the world where I've been very proactive and done a lot of work and, uh, and found a symbol that had meaning, a relationship to that place. And then I would um, kind of get myself tattooed within that city. So for example, with, uh, with Denmark, since this whole collections with a Danish company. I actually, a couple of years ago, did a, uh, my symbol for empathy, and I got that done in Copenhagen. So that's on my body. And, uh, well, I won't show exactly that one because it's not in the location I can show you, I think, but, but you can see the symbols and the extension of them on the objects themselves. And it really, at the end, they just become a very, I think, kind of nice abstract pattern. So the collection of um, Saucers and, and cups, ceramic cups, are actually uh, will eventually, I think, become uh, collector's items as they will be limited in production. 